Today I'm here to talk about how young people can get career advice into the film industry. Uh, today's been really fun. Uh, we've had some really interesting questions from the young people calling in and we've had some other great people on the couch so we've been having some great conversations. The one piece of advice I'd give to someone else who wanted to follow in my footsteps would probably be to be tenacious and try really hard and keep trying because you won't succeed to begin with but eventually you'll definitely get in there and then once you've got your foot in the door then you can show them uh, your fantastic skills. So when I started in the industry, um, I started off at the bottom. I started working in art department stuff, started being a runner, started working on lots of different short films. And the key thing for me was to ask people questions. I, I wanted to ask everyone on the set the things that I aspired to do or didn't understand. I would ask and I would note them down and then I'd go back and research them. So I'd almost do my own uh, research into how I could do this job. So I went to Essex University and I studied drama and I uh, did that for three years and while I was studying drama I also joined a, a film group local to me and started learning um, how to sort of work on short films really. Okay so the most famous person that I've met uh, probably Ian McKellen um, as a talk at Equity uh, obviously Miriam Margulies is in my last film uh, Asa Butterfield I worked with on the project and we, we play uh, we play Overwatch <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, on my IMDb, there's all sorts of cool people. Sam Claflin was really nice. Yeah, Paul Bettany. Okay, so the sort of people that inspire me would definitely be directors like uh, Stanley Kubrick and Zack Schneider. Um, but actually, one of the main things I take influence from is uh, fine art. So I like going to art galleries, looking at the sort of Italian Renaissance paintings, look at see how they. Uh, depicted life you know because they've got still life and in there they've got so much going on with uh, the interesting uh, lighting styles and so much chaos and you know pleasure and pain and all the sort of things and they're, they're all the things that you really want to capture in front of the camera even when you're doing stills work you just translate that into a, a moving scene and obviously the other thing is if you are a filmmaker and you, you want to get into film then you should enjoy film so go and watch as many films as possible there's like a whole hundred top films on IMDb, just work your way down them. Do I think that the work and all the effort that I've put in over the time and years has, has paid off and been worth it? Uh, yes, certainly. I, I mean, if I had gone in and studied film and then come out, I might have had certain expectations that I, I should know this or I should do things in a certain way. I've had to sort of learn it by myself and I have taken the long way round and it's taken me a lot longer than most people have. Um, but you know I'm pleased with what I've done and it certainly is worth it and when you look at the sort of considering that I, I went professional as in um, earning a full-time wage from making films about four or five years ago um, to now be producing projects with 50 people under me features that have sold worldwide bloody blah, blah stuff like that then you know I think it's the time that you put in you know I must have put in countless more hours than I would have as if I felt like I had to go to school and, and learn it. One of the things I always think about, and it's a quote that I've heard and people have probably seen it shared around on social medias, but it's something like, you can spend every day doing something that you hate, so why not try and, you know, you get paid for something that you hate, so why not try and do something that you love, even if it means, you know, giving something up. Um, so a great way to get into the industry is really just to learn how to do the craft yourself. So one of the things is you could do is go onto IMDb for instance, look at all the top 100 films, work your way down them, watch them and learn from them, take notes and try and understand like how they got to that point. And for instance you can look at my IMDb, uh, you just type my name in Jamie Weston uh, or you can Google it, Jamie Weston Film and stuff comes up, you know, you could have a look and uh, look on my website and there's loads of other social media links so, you know, give me an ad and ask me some cool questions.